Now, he, he mentioned something about um, if the military feel protected, they're not going to, you know, they're going to protect. I mean, yeah. sorry, did we see what... Yeah, did we see what happened at um, NSOS? Nobody proposed that, though. That was in the barrack <laughs> close by. Exactly. So, I mean, the politicians have already, they're already making their um, intentions clear by talking about, oh, the children shouldn't go outside if they don't want to be killed. I mean... They're already criminalizing it in their statement, Exactly. Right? So, it's much like... Uh, People asking to go out to go and they show uh, their displeasure about uh, the uh, government, they already been tagged with some dangerous uh, so what, tags that gives the police the right to shoot and kill them already. So why do we think there'll be any, anything different? I mean, we've got people. We we got people that um, are ruling that country like it's it's in the sixties and the you know, 70s. Why are they going to do anything different? They they don't know anything different to do than to send, do you know what I mean? So if if it does, I, I've got a bit of scepticism because I've not seen it happen since, obviously, it was, I think it was the um, annulment of uh, June 12th. And then the next one was NSAR. So and these guys have taken us for a ride for so long that you just think, you know, a Nigerian's going to react. They are so but, sure. They are so confident, right? That this is the most we can. We always do just talk. Yeah, yeah. So hmm. I'm going to I'm going to sit back and wait. Yeah, you are the same. But I just don't want. But, to, I don't want the optimism to be lost on myself, even though I'm also no. skeptical, right? Well, yeah. when I look around and I see what I see, I am not saying that uh, maybe they have uh, the capacity to uh, really, really affect any serious uh, damage to the system that could possibly change for better to their side, right? Not that I'm seeing yeah. that. I just want people to know that if you are still thinking it's not going to happen, you are not paying attention. That it will, it will happen or it won't happen, or that it will happen and it will affect a change, they are two different things, okay? Yeah, yeah. Whether it's going to happen or not, well, it's going to happen. But is them coming out going to be strong enough to change anything? Well, that's a different question. But let, that yeah. they're going to come out or not, it's long overdue. And the, the, oh, the, yeah. the guys in charge, right, they know. And that's why they are reacting now. They are taking it serious. Yeah. Because it is. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, like like you, I pray it happens. Hmm. You know, and I pray, you know, with with the momentum this building, you know, <laughs> I hope strong it, enough to change the the stories of our people. Man, people are to destroy, to like, destroy everything. We can blame we can blame them for all we like, okay? But after all of that, eh, we will sit still ourselves our more man. What people are going through in Nigeria. A lot of us that actually grew up in that place struggled and faced almost anything, right? Some of us can't yeah. survive in that Nigeria anymore today. No, no, no. We no. can't. No. In reality, no. but again, mm, yeah. it will be up to them to show if they are really tired, man. You know? No, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's and completely up to them. And my God, I, I want to ask a question. How, how, what, what do you think the estimate is of Nigerians that live abroad? What, what would you uh, put that? Roughly, what is yeah. massive? And if we have to kind of use the ratio of, uh, you know, where you have uh, the, the, the bigger countries and all of that, I've always been yeah. concerned with the fact that we are more than 10 million Nigerians abroad. Right. Okay. And I think. But people believe that we have more than that. There are those. Who, oh. And you know why people believe that there are more than 10 million Nigerians abroad is that it's different between Nigerians that left Nigeria. Okay? Yeah. And yeah. the Nigerians, or the, the people that are Nigerians now, probably as they are, you know, as they are their own children, through marriages yeah, yeah. and other stuff, right? Who are now Nigerians. Yeah. So when you begin yeah. to put all this number together, right? 
you realize that yeah. uh, we can't be turned, but I kind of just work with that. Okay, let's 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 work. Nigerians will be probably more than fifty million abroad. Fifty. When we begin okay, to look into let's... families, our trees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, let's 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 work with that figure. Um, if this if this whole thing kicks off, I would like the Nigerians abroad to to realize that we all have a duty to make sure that if these guys think that leaving Nigeria is going to be, you know, they have a safe haven outside Nigeria, we have, we have to, to remind them make sure that. that they don't. Absolutely. We have to remind them uh, that it's not safe. You can't run away from that place. No. When it hits, it's turned up now, okay? No. When it's turned up no. and begin, you think you can run abroad, you will, you will run into a lot of us. Absolutely. I like that. Absolutely. Mm. And they need to realize that. So they can, they, can, they can threaten for all they want at this point, right? If, if they're caught abroad and, you know, Nigerians in Nigeria show us that they're serious, then yes. They'll probably we'll, be we'll, running into what they're running away from. We'll deal with it, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Eh? Let me go yeah. to another one again, man. Okay. You have, no a good, uh, no yeah, you have a good uh, weekend, too. It looks like it's been too. a very beautiful weekend, right? Warm. Yeah. You too, mate. Take care. You too, man. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. So I have another caller. I like that. See, when they say how many Nigerians are abroad, the question is a little bit, uh, you know, sort of uh, dicey. The thing is, I left Nigeria uh, 12 years ago. Okay, that's me. Now, if I have to go back uh, to see how many Baderos, how many Baderos have you in uh, Glasgow? They will tell you that uh, we have a, uh, we have four Baderos. But it was only one Badero of my own uh, Badero that left Nigeria. So, if you want to see how many Nigerians are here now, you probably will say four. Abby. You say four. How many people from there? Yeah, that's that's what I mean by you know the the, the theory of. Uh, Nigerians, how many Nigerians are in the UK? They say it's about uh, 1 million Nigerians. No. Do you even know how many, you know, if you multiply people with, uh, you know, their extended families and all of that that they have created in this place? You know that, uh, no, we can't be 1 million. Yeah. The Prince. Hello. Hello, my good general. Prince, Prince Jejeman, representing representing IPOB for life. For life. Oh, thank you so Good much, Prince. Good afternoon. How are thank you? you for, thank you for concurring. Yeah, afternoon, and I'm fine. You very well, Lord. Thank you. Baba, that your general be the original one. Don't be the one where Tunumbu they tell us. Eh, now you get to worry, general. I go, I go, I go save Nigeria. Come, 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 everywhere. I mean, the touch be around. Yeah. They are the only way, general. We won't walk inside the dark, go see enter a, a, a canal inside that dark. But people will know say that touch be this. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You'll be touched, you'll be touched, you'll be, you be, touch, you be, touch, you be mirror, Baba. <laughs> I'll be you touched, I'll be to Kano, I'll be the mic, I'll be this or that I, to so many people. I'll I'm, te right? I'm telling you, Baba. Praise Judge Well Mahal. done, well done. Thank you so much. Well done, Baba. Yeah, Baba. Um, the thing is that I've been listening to the callers, you know, and um, I can see the line they are going through. But um, the thing is that we have to look at the president, president of uh, what has been happening. I hope I get that grammar well. <laughs> you know, you see, Baba, and I have my language in the case. I'm well, sorry, my language. I'll give it to you, Jerry. Is, uh you see, you see, Baba. I don't be speaking English. I say, say English. You speak Yoruba. I'm not a Chris. Can an Englishman sit in front of your camera and speak Yoruba the way I'm actually like speaking, you? communicating in English like this? They can't. You know, so it's at all. It's to me that I managed to speak their language. Uh, Try at time. all. Yes, Ali. Well done. You oh, see, please, Baba. Fire. The mm -hmm. thing is that the the Nigeria army. I have somebody saying that Nigeria army will provide the uh, logistics in some way you understand maybe if they are if they if they are provoked if they are not provoked something like something like that 
You know, the thing is that uh, okay, no the thing, but it's actually know, a good advice, it, though, Prince. Uh, it's a good advice. You understand, but you see the killings that have been going seen, on I in Nigeria. Who, are try, who try to collect guns from police? I was like, unnecessary now. Why? Why do you want to collect their guns? They didn't shoot. They didn't do anything. And you just follow them. You, you know, there are people who instigate all these things during protests, and you know, they should be looked out for. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Before somebody, yeah, yeah, it's true. Before you got somebody, I mean, like, you know, to the that can just come and police. just grab the police van eh, and uh, just run it, even when the police are just like passing. It could necessarily, uh, no. you know, they want to show that we are angry. We don't want to see, but no, uh, please. look out exactly, for them. Those yeah. people don't want any successful protest. That's what, uh, yes, those, Finish your those people Sorry. are the mold, the mold that comes uh, in the uh, crowd, you know. Mm -hmm. So people should be, you look out for them. Okay. So the thing is that, Baba, mm -hmm. you know that the military we have, uh, Okay, let me start this. Let me start it this way. Mm -hmm. Dubai, uh, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. They brought name of the terrorists that are in National Assembly that are governors, and gave it to this APC government, which Tunumbu is uh, their leader. Mm -hmm. Okay, was their leader and see their leader and their president. Okay, you see when Buhari, Buhari left. They did not investigate that uh, evidence that died, and the the, the the United Arab Emirates, the one people that they caught over there that were, were collaborators, they jailed them in their country. Yes, so. But in Nigeria, they killed that uh, information. See, today. They pretended to like say it happened. And now. Tunumbu came in, he knows all those people because the, the information is available for him as a president. He knows all those people. They are still in the government today. Yes. Okay? Eh? So, my ego, the problem is this. And uh, secondly, Nigeria, Nigeria, now I've been Buhari APC government, brought terrorists, wear them white clothes like angel, and told Nigerians that these people are repentant, Boko Haram, repentant swap. They even insulted the mentality of Nigeria by telling them that they came back with their wives. Uh -huh. People that have raped, destroyed village, mm -hmm. the renamed village, and the name the village has not been returned no. to the owner. See today, as we are speaking. Okay. So now this same military to make matter worse, they are recruiting these people inside our Nigerian. Let me use it now because I'm involved with Juku said. Nigerian armed arm forces, eh, military. Eh, see the one currently now, the one that was exposed the other day, a police officer killing a fellow police, taking the F AK-47 and selling to, to, to armed robbers. Mm -hmm. Are these no product of repentant Boko Harams? Hmm. Eh, are these professional police? That's what you ask yourself. So is applicable to the army. Are they professional army today? Do Nigeria have professional army? The answer is no. Do you understand me? This is where the, the this this uh, these are the reasons that the restructuring cannot even work in Nigeria anymore. Confederation even will allow people to be crossing other people border. You understand? That's why when they when we say is Biafra or death or Biafra, any option, Biafra, one thousand option is Biafra, Biafra because Biafra. everything don't proper here. Everything don't proper here. Mm -hmm. You understand? Nigeria as it is, it just it's just kicking the can along the road. Definitely, yes. we are going to end end you know with what the you just said, dear, If Prince we don't Jejeman. separate it in peace, eh? yes, you know Baba. What you just said, dear, that uh, yes. people need to also be mindful of. Okay, is the fact exactly. that the Nigerian police, the Nigerian military, and some of these paramilitary have been actually infiltrated by exactly. those who were conquered criminals, including exactly. repentant terrorists. Now, you don't know who is exactly. who when everybody is geared up in military gear. And then you'll be exactly. wondering. Why would any, any real sane soldier shoot at the civilians that did not pose any threat to him? I saw them exactly. open fire. I'm talking about machine gun fire on a village. Exactly. You've probably seen the video too, where they said they were looking for exactly. years then in Imo State. 
village you yeah. where yes, older I people, it, ancient huh? people live who are most exactly. farmers like a local traders like that, this guy yeah. is shouting IPOB, come out, we kill you. IPOB, come yeah. out, we kill you. And the language and the tone shows that this person is not from Eastern Nigeria. Amayegu, before you continue, let yeah. me touch that place. You see, the guy that was shouting IPOB, come out. If you look at that guy, it's no more than either 17 or 18 Oh, years you remember old. the video. God bless you. You saw the he's video. A Lama he's a Lama Jare confirmed terrorist. He's a Lama Jare confirmed terrorist. Boko Haram terrorism. He wasn't that calling that alone. He opened fire. Uniform. I'm talking about machine gun. Yeah. Come on. Shooting. RPOB, it's come on. Yeah. They were shooting at the building. So if this, uh, some of those they are going to deploy for protests, like Ruto did in Kenya, you know what Ruto did, like they do in Nigeria? They were switching. Yeah. They're switching policemen from this uh, tribe. Mm. They will take them to that side mm. to go and crush mm. protesters. They will bring mm. they will bring uh, soldiers from this side. They will take them to that side where they they don't have anything right to go and crush protesters. Mm. Yeah. And that was why mm. some of them were able to kill over two hundred people in Kenya. About they killed people mm. and they took their bodies away. Mm. They did in Nigeria. So now all these, all, hmm. these, all these terrorists, the Pentan terrorists that they gave gun to. Yeah. And then they send them to areas they believe that they could carry out uh, some killings and they would do it. Exactly. So point to that, you're not being professional, that even if people don't do anything, these guys will still do, they will still find reason to shoot and kill. My good, the good thing about it is that, the good thing is that about it, about the protest, so that we are encouraging people to protest because uh, if you don't protest, uh, definitely Nigeria will kill you with the way Nigeria is going. Definitely, all the policies are meant to kill the citizens. Absolutely. Okay. So if you say you will, you won't protest. Definitely, you will still die. Do you understand? If you protest, they kill you. Definitely, you will still die. So all dying are die. I get it, me, but the op the best option is that is for you to protest because now the advantage that we have is that internet is there, satellite is there. Okay, they're gonna turn, so, they're gonna turn the yeah, internet I'm, off uh, when this whole thing happens. They're gonna arrest their show right, before the end of this month, right? They're gonna pick him up. There's so many things that they will do. We have been seeing all of their reactions, right? But in all of mm. this, in all of this, they will only win. If the people are scared to actually stand exactly, up. exactly, exactly, they are not good. You see, my you see, my ego, the thing is that Nigerians are already dying. Eh? We that are abroad also are dying because yes, every day, every day you are receiving calls. There are some calls you will see, your heart will begin to pant because the call will keep on coming and coming and coming. I get in me. So it's affecting everybody. Nobody is scared. You know, if I have my way, my brother, I will go back to my land, Biafra. Are you getting me? But you can't go back to Nigeria. If you're abroad, they want to send you, you'll be crying. I beg. I beg to apply to live. That's mm. where they was all they forced everybody into. I get in me. So my what I'm trying to say in that sense that the Nigerian army. Is uh is no is no longer a professional army, eh? There is mixed up. They can bring out that group which they've uh, recruited because the the template is that what, what was done in Ab Afghanistan is the same template that Buhari Buh Buh and uh, his uh, his kinsmen planning has been terrorists. Yes, mm -hmm. they in, in in Afghanistan they started recruiting all these uh, terrorists into their army. Just the way they are, the Bugaris uh, did, and that's exactly the same thing. When uh, uh, a Taliban uh, took over Afghanistan, he went to, you know, congratulate them, and with one did. billion he dollars, Nigeria could not forget dollars, Nigeria money. I don't know if people still remember that. Yes. 
the Nigeria gave exactly. Taliban. Bokwari gave Taliban in Afghanistan five million dollars donation. Yeah, people have people have forgotten. I don't know if you is it this that. reason? By a good is the reason why when people when uh uh um the kind of told Nigeria that Buhari is dead, people will be people don't understand because if Buhari is alive, why after all this atroc atrocity, the Nigerians, even if Tunubu cannot call him out, no no journalists in Nigeria, no media house have ever called out Buhari with all these atrocities they him and this uh, kinsmen, full line kinsmen, there are these Zito Nigerian, Nigerians. Okay? They, everybody kept moot. Mm. You understand? So, yeah, and they, they the post of... Sorry. Thank you, my brother. Let me stop it here, yeah? Thank you. We can talk all day about Nigeria yeah, headed. It's God bless right. you. Bye-bye. We, we only have just about 20 Bye. minutes to go now, though, right? We'll finish all right. it all okay. this evening, okay? Keep the rest for me, evening. All right, yeah. Keep yeah. some for evening, right? Thank you. That's Prince Jejeman, ladies and gentlemen. I have another caller now. But uh, just because, okay, maybe I should leave you. But if you haven't really liked the broadcast, you should. It is so easy to forget. And I need you to, to show that you are here, right? Here. Hello. Hello, my egos. Nice talking to you again. Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you so much for picking up my call. Thank you for calling in, sir. I, think I, called, I called in yesterday and I was talking about uh how i'm i'm still skeptical about the protest I'm not discouraging anybody uh it's a nice thing if it happens it will be so i'll be very happy if it happens happen. so it'll be very nice but i want to talk about the eastern part of nigeria yes. these are the most industrious people we have in nigeria i schooled in zamfara we have a lot of easterners that set up their business. They have chemists, they have all sorts of stuff. I'm talking about everywhere you go in Nigeria, these are the most industrious people. And these are people yeah, who are that, literally we should be, be the reason why they are most yes. hated now. Exactly. These are people, they are so industrial. These are people that we should, in fact, I think we have so much to learn from them. If possible, we can start looking at them, I'm sorry to say, as God, because there's something they know about business that we don't know. We should idolize them because there's something they know about how to make money that the stupid Nigerians do not know. And at the end of the day, who did they want to kill? They want to kill an average evil man. He did nothing. He did not do anything. They want, to, they want to bring him down. So if an evil man will have to go out and oh, choose not to protest and still stay back in his house, I guarantee you they are still going to point at them. They are, they are yeah, the cost of the that's so the, what I'm going to say, some of these, uh, yeah, what I want to say, if they want to join, mm -hmm. my, if they want to join, it's okay, but please let them look at the context of the protest. See how people, how energized they are. Do not just jump in and like, okay, let us go. See how serious they are. Uh -huh. Look at the, the number. If they come back, if they come out in their millions. Still to, they are still going to blame you. Exactly. Say, say, you get what I mean. Be uh, but just make sure that uh, it will be worth it. I have okay. friends that are evil. I'm not going to stand by where they kill them. How am I going to feel? No. I'm going to be shattered. I won't. I will feel it's going to be horrible. So let them stand by and look and see the situation and say, okay. And if you want to do it, just make sure you are at the back and don't just don't please don't, don't lead any them, so don't, don't, mix don't, yourself in such don't. a way that they are not going to identify you. That you're yeah. from the east from the eastern part of you know we are so sorry. This, that's why you know let's add that too we are sorry that we had to be advising to say do it this way do it that way it is simply because Michael, we are in a dangerous Michael, world that these guys are i don't know how now. sorry i don't know how sorry i could say i am you get what i mean like so saying, saying, saying that, to, that uh, to anyone with uh anyone that is an, uh, from a good extraction saying that please bro don't take front please don't don't make yourself so visible about this these guys want Michael, to build their hatred on you and can you yeah. not make yourself visible in it? It is unfair to say, but it is a reality is so today. Unfair. It's a reality. It is so horrible. Look, the eastern part of Nigeria should be the Silicon Valley of Africa with what these guys know. Good. If these guys will put tribalism, put all their stupid whatever aside, that place should be Silicon what, uh, Valley of not of Nigeria. I'm talking about of Africa. 
But because I spoke with my mom, they sometimes they, when they had this election last year, they were like, ah, I want Ibo long call, say, I'm not shaking. I said, when was the last when was the last time an Ibo man killed a Yoruba man? She couldn't say a word. I said, go into all our farms. And there are many. Yeah, I, my mother, I'm saying it, and I'm not even, I'm not like shy or ashamed to say no, no, that no, was my mom. Is and I see, do we 